And I believe this was in here. Right. And was it... It was to the left. Yeah, let's see if I can remember this. We need to go... Up here. Go over here. And set foot on this... This particular section here. Hmm. She doesn't want to cooperate with me right now, of course. Ah, uh. oh, shit. You respawn. Why? <laughs> Let's try a swing with my new... Oh, God, that was... Well, maybe that wasn't too effective. It did 18, but uh, hey. Let me guess, I'm poisoned. No! That's it, that's odd, or maybe they didn't poison me. I don't really remember. Uh, let's try and figure this out again. Oh god. There's another one. And of course I fall down a bloody hole because the buttons don't respond. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Okay. I know you're in there, you bastard. And I'm gonna give you the run around. Oh, you fart. It's really fast. Let's quickly heal. Die, you horrific thing! Ah, oh. that was not good, not good at all. And of course, everyone's poisoned. Yeah, le yeah, never mind. We'll, we'll be fine. Just gonna quickly do some maintenance here. Okay, did some new potions. Let's see if we can um, move over here and click or step on that particular plate section and this should allow me to hopefully get over here ah oh, it's another one I don't remember there being any monster spawners but there must be surely right at least it's getting a lot easier dealing with these guys ah oh. Don't be don't give me a hard time now, Floor. Here we are. Please, let me just check. I don't want any more of these annoying dragonflies. <laughs> uh see if I can find the staircase. It's probably not even over here because I'm misremembering or something, right? No, I actually remembered correctly. There's the staircase with the safety railings. And I'm hoping I've kinda of cleared out this area. I think I did, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just save and maybe just maybe fix Krilla. Let's just save and then go down the staircase. See what horrors lies in wait. Oh, there's already something moving about. Oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. I remember you. Why am I pressing that button? That was actually my mistake. I, 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 real I didn't realize I can't spin around on a staircase because then I'm walking up or down it. <laughs> My mistake! Sorry, Skellington. I didn't mean to just ignore you like that and turn my back against you, which is not a good thing. Hi. I think these guys are pretty fast, but not too tough. Unless there's like 50 of them. Because that is bad news. Wooden shield. Ah, uh, should I... I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna carry it with me because I just can't resist stuff Then potion is I'm guessing a venomous po potion should we taste nah let's not do that <laughs> uh, I think it's just something you can throw and I do mean literally throw like pick it up and chuck it at something and they might get poisoned as far as I remember it anyway but of course that means that the flask breaks and that is sad 
Eh, torch can stay here. I don't need no stinking torch. Is. Ah. Alright. Could this be a shortcut? Oh, uh, hello. I think it's. Why am I. Uh. <laughs> I think this is the way. This is the ha ha ha, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright, alright. So this is a way to get back. That's good, I suppose. I don't have to walk up there and run around like an idiot. But I kind of had expected there to be something more fun than a wooden shield down here. But let me just go back up and check around a little bit. I might have missed something. Because why is there a shortcut uh, up here if there's nothing important here? Or maybe there isn't. This game is sneaky. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything here, so I'm just going to leave this for now. And I've already played for close to 50 minutes. Time flies. I'm going to play for a little bit longer. Now, the drawback with having uh, so many episodes in, in the backlog here is that if you give me some hints or tell me that I've missed something, I'm going to be way ahead of, of uh, where I'm currently at when you make the comment. And that means I'm going to have to run back. <laughs> that is... Oh, God. That is not so good, I guess. But hey. Oh, sorry, Andrew. I mean, Jan is going to do the hard work here. Stop chucking snot at me, are you filth mongers. It's just no fun fighting these guys in a straight corridor here. Did I go? No, I didn't go to the right place. Oh, however, we could try and do this. We could jump down on top of the... <laughs> Let's not do that. I'm just going to break my legs. Let's just go up here and heal. And I don't think the monsters can actually climb the staircases. Thank you, designer. Okay. Coming back for you, you snot-nosed bastards. These are just disgusting, these critters. You can see this coming stuff out of the holes there. Whatever that is, I don't... I don't even want to find out. Come on, guys, you can do better than this. Kill the filth mongers. Oh, no. Oh, I was going to move forward and then they blocked me and I turned around and went upstairs instead. <laughs> Let's just do a little bit of healing before we go down again. These guys are annoying. Take it. Okay. It's going better. They're pretty slow. They do make a fair amount of damage when they want to. And the stun thing doesn't seem to be terribly effective. It seems to be very... Uh, the, the duration seems to be very short. Oh, stop chucking snot at me! You filthy thing! Here we go. Okay, let's go to the staircase and have a little bit of a quick peek and see what we can find down there. Now the interesting thing is there's definitely monsters respawning out here and I can't seem to find any uh, spawners, monster spawners, but maybe they respawn anyway. I honestly don't remember. You guys probably know how that works, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna sleep this poison off here. As you can see, uh, the poison isn't strong enough to actually uh, kill you when you sleep. But I think there are poisons uh, or types of poison in this game that will murder you in your sleep if you don't watch out, that are taking more hit points than you can regain. <laughs> Here we go. All right, Krilla, it's your time to shine. Or well, then again, maybe not. I'm not giving up on you and your magic skills. You can do it. I know you can. Novice Ninja. And he's got 8 mana compared to Andrew who has 55 and Jan that's got 59. All right. <laughs> Let's just walk downstairs and see what we can find. And indeed what can find me. The Ripple Room. All right, that's interesting. And I should say before I carry on, I've decided not to use spells ahead of time. I need to kind of find the scroll that gives me the what kind of combinations of spell tokens I have to use. I'm not going to 
cheat in quotation marks and uh, use spells that I haven't learned yet. Although that I can actually by just experimenting and or and of course having a look at my old notes. But never mind that, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be fair and square. Let's go out here and I'm guessing I'm going to be teleported around like nobody's business here. Or maybe not. Hard as rocks, blue as sky, twinkle in woman's eye. Well, that's that's just a little bit too easy. <laughs> the diamond, the blue or the blue gem. Yeah, click it to click. Let's go over to the other side and see what I suppose to stick here. I'm all, I am none. I am all, I am none. Hmm. What could that be? I am all, I am none. Let's check the others. A golden head and tail, but now, but no body. A golden head and tail. So we're going to have to stick. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to stick a lot of stuff in these alcoves before we can move on. I arch, arch, yet I, yet have no back. A bow? I wonder if it always clicks, by the way. No, it only clicks if it's the correct, correct item. So that is actually a bow. But you know what? I don't want to leave my bow here. You pillock. I want that. Well, yeah, let's just see. Maybe I can grab it once the door is opened. A golden head and tail, but no body. Could it be a mirror? Doesn't really... No, that's not it. Didn't really make any sense. Well, it's not cheese. Or maybe it is, but nah, I don't think so. I am all, I am none. An empty flask with air? Doesn't make any sense. Nah, it doesn't. This really should be the mirror, right? Yeah, so we've got one left. A golden head and tail, but no body. Hmm, intriguing. Oh, it's a coin. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Heads and tails. Oh, derp. And there's a key. Thank you. An iron key. And the door opens. Good times. Yarn is the keeper of keys. And I want my bow back, so give it air. Hopefully it doesn't close again, right? Come on, move. Nope, that's good. Uh, I think I'm going to leave these things for for now, though. I don't think I need them again. Besides, I have a backup mirror. And this... I've got another backup gem as well, I think. Right? Yeah. So let's carry on for a bit. Hmm. Wonder... What awaits me? I'm guessing skeletons. Just a wild stab in the dark. I'm just going to head back for a little bit. I don't want to get surrounded. I like to know what is around me here. Okay, that's good. Let's open the door. Let's see if Critter can manage to do some lighter. Oh yes, he... Oh, oh, hello, it's a beholder. I wonder if these... The beholders actually aren't the only enemy that can open doors. I think they can cast an open door spell, the little bastards. I don't remember how tough they are. Pretty sure they're not good news. Let's just have a look. Oh yeah, there's another one. <laughs> Alright guys. Come on. Can you open doors? Because I don't remember. Oh, and sorry, by the way, guys, I need to restart my recording so the audio doesn't disappear. Hang on, I'll be right back. Let's see if we can deal with one of these little shits. Oh. Come on. He doesn't want to leave? His little cubby hole? Ah, oh, he didn't like a door applied to his head. Very few people do, really, but... 
Oh, that was... That was surprisingly easy, which leads me to believe that they've got some really nasty spells. If they hit you, bad things are gonna happen, I think. Otherwise they wouldn't have so few hit points. Oh, we've got buttons galore here. The grave of King Phileas, explorer of combinations? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm guessing there's another... Yeah, there's more buttons. We're gonna have to do a button combination. There's three buttons with three different... Uh, sorry, with... Yeah, basically binary. Three different... How many is that? Two, four, eight... There's a variation... Thirteen variations, or am I... No, probably not. I, I'm used to add math, so... But there's a couple of variations. We might just ignore that. Oh, hang on. I think there's four buttons. Well, that's one. There's two, three, and four, right? Yeah, four buttons. There's a fair amount of variations there. Let's just ignore it. My, my brain can't handle that at the moment. Hang on. I just... Oh dear. Uh, I just realized, haven't I got one of those um, spell shield things? Yeah, I think this is the shield one. But I couldn't really find exactly what I was looking for, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna... I hope I haven't kind of used this spell in, in advance. I think I found a spell shield of some sort. Or a shield spell. But let's just try it out and see what happens. Ah, yes. Come here. No? Oh, well, that kind of helped a little bit. We're just going to run in and chop him up into tiny, 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 tiny bits. I'm going to shoot you in the eye. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? He didn't. I wonder how long that spell, the shield, will last. And I'm not entirely sure what it's effective against, but hey. Thriller, do your thing. Good work. Good work, lad. Good work. And this, the shield is gone, of course. Uh, what happens if we... I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. We just put that there. Didn't do anything. All right. What happens if I walk on it? Uh, that door closes. Uh, that's a bummer. And there's a key in there, of course. We need that. We want that. How about if we throw something over there? We can just get rid of this uh, skirt, I think. Doesn't do anything. That's a bummer. Isn't it heavy enough? Or Oh, hang on. There's also a lever over here. Did not see that. Ooh, this is getting somewhat complicated. Uh, hmm. What happens if we throw a knife in here? <laughs> All right, fair enough. It goes flying this way. Yeah. I'm just going to close the door, by the way, because I don't want any surprises sneaking up from behind. We can't really trigger these, can we? What happens if we do that? Can't do that. Hmm. Of course, if I jump into the teleport... Um, derp, I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Probably not much. I just press the button, which I presume is going to close the pit. But let's just save and jump down there, because who knows? Might be wonderful treasures down there. I suspect we're just going to end up somewhere where we've already been, right? Uh, maybe not. There's more holes here. Maybe this was a good idea after all. Unless there's an army of beholders down here, of course. Right, let's just explore for a bit. Ooh! A magical box! A different type of magical box that does 
Freeze Life again, but probably is a bit more effective. And again, you can see I haven't used a single one of these. I'm going to have to start doing that. <laughs> I'm just hopeless at using certain items. Not that the the lower level ones are any good, really. They last for maybe about, I don't know, five seconds, possibly. Let's check for buttons and such. Nah, nothing in here. But that was, I suppose, kind of worth coming down here. Let's just uh, do some maintenance while we are down here. Oh, I just gained a priest level. That makes Andrew a artisan priest. Good times. Okay, let's jump into the teleporter. Okay, I think we ended up in the... Yep. So, let me see. Can I grab my... No, that still doesn't help. Hang on. I think I forgot to... Uh, yeah, I didn't press the button because I was going to jump down the hole. Sorry, yeah. Let's press the button. That should close the pit. Yep! And then we need to go over there and pull the lever, I think. Yeah, so we can close the teleportation thingy. No, hang on, that doesn't work. So every time I take a step out there, the door's going to open and then it's going to close. I can't go in here, or can I? No, it just sends me back here. Uh, I don't, I can't throw anything either, can I? Going back here, what did this thing do again? Maybe if I put something here. Ah, yes, I can actually trigger that with an item. Let's put something less valuable than my favorite weapon of all time. That's more like it. Ah, uh, okay. That didn't help. This doesn't do anything. Okay, this is uh, puzzle is far more tricky than I actually anticipated initially. So let's jump in here again. Click that. That does nothing, as far as I know. And the moment I step over here, the door is going to close again. It's going to open and then it's going to close. Sneaky! I like this. I really do. <sighs> I can throw this over here. It's just going to hit me in the face and trigger this plate and then do... Oh, hang on. Did that just... No. So that opens the door. Click there. Go over here. Throw this over here, but nothing happens with the door. What? This is weird. I'm just missing something completely obvious, ain't I? Nah, didn't work. I didn't expect it to. <laughs> and there's nothing in there right now. I can't really see anything. What am I missing here? Something super easy. This one will close the door. And it doesn't seem to be toggling in the sense that if you yeah, walk back onto it, it's going to change the state of the door. This one opens the door. It's not triggerable by putting anything on it, unfortunately, because that would make things a lot easier. That one in there also triggers the door, I think. And the button closes the pit. Where? It doesn't, doesn't do anything. Okay, now the door opens. And closes again. I'm just too tired to figure this out right now. I think I'm going to carry on and murder some stuff because that always puts me in a good mood and then these problems tend to become a lot easier and also taking a break from them. its I don't think it's particularly complicated. It's just me being a slow idiot here. Let's uh, move on. And I'm not even going to bother with the... Uh, Buh, button combination uh, puzzle because yeah oh my you're fast aren't you <laughs> and proud of it well don't worry I'm still gonna murder you because you're weak you're all weak 
and bony. Have no flesh, no personality. Wooden shield, eh? And useless falchions. Don't need it, don't want it. But I want my arrows back. Uh, what was that? That just sounded like I hit something soft in the face. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. It just sounded like I hit something in the face with my with a wooden shield or something. Nothing. In death thirsts... In death thirst for bullion. Oh, hang on, I should probably read them from... from... Um, left to right. The grave of King Milius, the golden who even thirsts, even in death thirsts for bullion. Well, hey, I'm pretty sure he's undead, so that makes complete sense. I bet he wants gold. Should I leave something valuable in the fl on the floor, maybe? Does that make you happy, perhaps? No? Not really. Huh. Got to come back to this later as well. Maybe there's some other components to this. Oh, there's a, a large shield. You know what? You can have that. Pretty sure I'm decently certain something horrific is hap going to happen here. Oh. Back out into the main room. Well, that's Great. Why? Hmm. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Shortcut. Who knows? Anyway, I'm pretty sure this door can be opened with the iron key. Yes. And there's another one, of course. Uh, I'm going to have to have another one of those iron keys, because I don't think I have one, right? And that one is, of course, hidden behind that. Well, not hidden as much as it's just behind that iron grate or porticulus over here. Ah, this annoying puzzle. You know what, guys? I'm thinking I'm going to take a bit of a break here, because I'm getting pretty tired. I've been having a lot of fun, but yeah, I need me a break. And there doesn't seem to be any other heads to bash at this moment. So uh, I'll be back. Don't worry. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and hope to catch you in the next one. Cheers.